Birds of a feather may flock together, but CBS's Steve Hartman found two that only have eyes for each other. Here's tonight's On the Road. At the New England Wildlife Center in Massachusetts, they treat thousands of injured animals every year. But Executive Director Zach Mertz says one recent case stands out from all the rest. This was a first for us. It was the goose. The patient was a Canada goose they named Arnold. Arnold had a badly damaged foot. And as we're doing it, we're prepping him for anesthesia, giving him meds. We hear this faint tapping at the door. Tapping at the door? Yeah. We all kind of turned around simultaneously and we're pretty shocked. Zach says it was a visitor for Arnold. We don't allow that, but we definitely had to make an exception in this case. An exception for a spouse. Don't worry, he's in good hands. How did she know that her mate was in here? My only guess is that she saw us capture him the day before, um, and he was probably honking in the cage overnight. After surgery, the staff moved Arnold to the floor for recovery, where his mate, who they named Amelia, comforted and preened him. The avian embodiment of in sickness and in health. Geese do mate for life, but if something dreadful happens to one, the other typically remarries, but not Amelia. She wasn't leaving her man. No honking way. <laughs> Throughout his convalescence, now in its fourth week, they've been putting Arnold in a pen out back, an hour daily for fresh air. And every time, without fail, Amelia comes running to her gander, marches right into his cage in full-throated surrender. I think it really gave us all a new respect for how social these animals are and sort of the depth that they have in their emotions. I know this isn't your field per se, but is this love? You know, I don't know if it's love, but they really make each other calm and happy. And uh, yeah, I think we could all learn something from them. Arnold was released this week, back into the wings of his beloved. And although the couple was in no rush to fly the coop, they won't stick around for long. Still, hopefully, their example will stay with us because what's good for the goose is crucial for mankind. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Barnstable, Massachusetts.